Welcome back. My name is Steven. I'm a pharmacist and I own 51 units of real estate. And the topic I want to discuss about is uh, self-criticism and self-criticism specifically during the wealth building journey. So as you start to go on a wealth building journey, you know, I started Minds um, more seriously back in 2018. Um, you will basically have a lot of self-doubt. You will question, why are you doing this? Why am I going through the stress? Why am I going above and beyond? Why am I trying to do something that other people aren't doing? Why am I um, feel so alone? Why is no one supporting me? Why everything? You're going to question literally everything because it's going to be a hard time. It's going to be a stressful time. And it's not easy. It's very lonely. right? I've talked about it multiple times on my prior videos. Um, if you're new, you know that wealth building is a lonely journey. Your friends won't support you. Your family won't support you. Your spouse may not even support you, right? So it's a very lonely journey, but you have to know that you, you're doing it for a reason. <clears throat> so you need strong resolve, right? If, if you're doing this for external validation, it's probably not strong enough. Um, you have to do it for a reason that resonates with you, that makes sense for you. So for me, my reason was I want um, <clears throat> financial freedom, but more specifically just options. I want the option to... Uh, work on things that I want to work on. I want options to do things that bring me fulfillment. I want options to, um, you know, potentially re retire my fiance. I want options, right? I want, th that's all really it is. That's all really money is too, is it's just options <clears throat> to do things um, for yourself, for your friends, and for your family, right? So for me, that's very important, and that's enough for me to go down my wealth building journey. And I will say throughout the process, Throughout the process, it's it's very, you know, challenging, and you'll be tested, right? Like I, I I hit rock bottom. I was stressed. I was anxious, and no one can relate with you, right? Because like, how relatable is it to tell a coworker, a family member, a friend, oh yeah, oh ninety units of real estate, it's super stressful. They're just gonna be like, cool story, bro. Like I'm just trying to buy my own house, <laughs> or trying to not live paycheck to paycheck, or uh, pay off my student loans, right? So it's very unrelatable, and if you share it with other people. You're usually met with um, not a positive response for the most part, unless you have a true, truly, truly, truly good friend um, who's empathetic who listens. But 95% of the time, it'll be met with a negative response. So that is why um, you really have to control your inner self crit critic and not be too hard on yourself, right? And, and that, this is what I struggled with the most because I, I have a very high standard for myself. I have a um, very high degree of, you know, I can't make mistakes. So I'm, I'm my own biggest harsh critic, right? So I, I, lately I've been trying to, for the past year, quiet my inner critic. I've been trying to be easier on myself, be more empathetic in myself say, you know what? I made a mistake. I, let's say my mobile home park, you know, I messed up, lost hundred thousand dollars. Hey, I made a mistake. I tried my best with the information that I knew, the circumstances I was handed and it sucks that I lost hundred thousand dollars. I learned a lot. I gained a lot of clarity, um, and I got slapped in the face. But it's okay. I, I can afford to take that slap in the face. It didn't bankrupt me. You know, I'm still working. It's uh, a lesson from the school of hard knocks, right? So I'm trying not to beat myself up over it. And and but I'm obviously not gonna <clears throat> buy any more mobile home parks, right? And and get shiny object syndrome and go into self storage or short term rentals, right? I, I'm just gonna stay in my lane. Right, multifamily, single family, specifically multifamily in Oklahoma, single family in California, Alabama. That's it. That's my lane, and that's enough. I don't need anything else. Right, so I can afford to take that slap uh, in the face. And if you take the analogy, it's not how many, you know, it's just about in boxing, for example, it's just how many times can you get punched and get back up. Right, that's, that's really what it is. Or you want to minimize your falls. Like you want to have small little falls instead of one big fall that wipes you out completely, right? You don't want to um, get bankrupt in the wealth building journey. You want to, you know, ideally not lose money. But if you do lose money, make make it so that it's money that you can't afford to lose. Um, so you know, obviously, I was hard on myself, and I just like you know what, being hard on myself isn't serving me. It's not helping me. Um, it's putting me in a negative mindset. It's making me an uh, energy vampire. It's making me not pleasant to be around it's not serving me so i'm trying to quiet the voice and what's really helped me do it is just journaling it right like I, I would journal my thoughts my negative thoughts and just write you know it's okay it's okay to mess up it's okay to not be perfect it's okay to make mistakes like no one's perfect right 
even the best investors, um, they make mistakes too, right? And, you know, for the most part, big picture, I've done well in real estate. So why am I being hard on myself, right? Like this is called a real life MBA. So, um, you know, quieting that voice and, and really just being more empathetic and caring towards myself, like it's okay, right? Like imagine if it was like a friend that made the same mistake, I wouldn't be hard on them. I would just be like, oh, you know, you tried. As long as you learn, it's all good. But how come for myself, I'm like, oh, you suck, Steven. You're stupid, Steven. I'm like, oh, that doesn't serve me. So, you know, it, 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 I, I stopped doing it. So now I'm like, you know what? I made a mistake and I learned. So you either win or you learn, right? And, and uh, can you take the hit? Yeah. And what, what could I have done to mitigate this? What, what were the mistakes? And what can I take moving forward, right? So um, really journaling and self-reflecting has helped me go through that process. Um, you know, and, and quieting my, my inner critic and it just didn't, didn't serve me. Right. And, and hopefully this resonates with you and, and realize that as you go on your wealth building journey, it's not going to serve you either. Right. It actually, it's going to hurt you. Um, it's going to hinder you and gonna hold you back. So, you know, I don't want you to be an unrealistic optimist either, but you know, don't be overly hard on yourself. Like you took a swing at it and you miss, right. Just like baseball, you swung and you miss. Sometimes you just hit, hit a home run. Sometimes you hit a single, double, triple. Right, so really just take a swing. Um, it's better than um, sitting on the sideline doing nothing, right? I'm sure we all seen those people where um, they're just sitting on the sideline watching you for like five years and waiting for you to mess up and then they'll criticize you, but those people usually aren't doing anything, right? They're just in the sideline watching you, too afraid to do anything, they're too, too stagnant and they're laughing at people taking action, right? So just know that those people aren't willing to take the action. <laughs> So don't take whatever they say to heart. Just just wave it off, brush it off, right? So like, don't take what they say too seriously. And don't take what your inner self critic says too seriously. If your inner self critic is um, uh, harsh on yourself, right? So you know. So hopefully, I just want to share like what I've done to help calm down my inner self critic. Um, why does it serve me anymore? You know, maybe it served me in the beginning to be more ambitious, to want to prove people wrong. To prove myself wrong but now at this stage of my life it doesn't really serve me so i'm trying to limit my inner critic and it's a constant daily process right i do it every day i have to remind myself every day hey, it's okay it's okay don't be harsh on yourself go easy on yourself you know you're already doing well so it's just that constant constant reminder and even when i'm having a really shitty day i have to like intentionally journal and be like hey it's okay um You'll get through this. You have the reserves. Um, so, yeah, hopefully um, this resonated with you. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. Any topics you want me to discuss, happy to discuss that. If you're interested in joining my mentorship program, check out the links down below. Uh, you can send me an email as well. My email is in my bio. Um, and please share this video with somebody who needs to hear this. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much. See you in the next one.